Hi, this is Squad, and in this video, I want to tell you about the TGF beta signaling. TGF beta signaling uses a molecule TGF beta to communicate from one cell to another cell. And this molecule doesn't have to be TGF beta. TGF beta is a molecule in a family, and this family is called a TGF beta family and has other molecules like BMP, bone morphology protein. It's a regulator of bone and muscle differentiation, activin, which is a regulator of uh, follicular development and GDF, growth differentiation factor that regulates growth and differentiation. So any of these molecules or TGF beta molecule itself can go from one cell and reach another cell. And all of these molecules are not water soluble. So the distance that they can travel is not that far and they all work locally. And most cells in a body can receive these signals and respond, but this localness restricts where these signals happen. This receiving cell can be any cell because receptors are common, uses TGF beta receptor. And when this TGF beta molecule travels and binds to TGF beta receptors, the receptors come close to each other and they come close and they are activated. With this activation, another protein called SMAT interacts with the receptor and SMAT gets activated. And SMAT is a transcription factor. With the activation, SMAT can now go to the nucleus and change the gene expression of many genes. Important gene that gets activated is P21. And P21 is also the protein that gets activated by P53 when there is some kind of DNA damage. And P21 is a molecule that can bind to cycling CDK complex. Cycling CDK complex adds phosphate group to many proteins. And these proteins do the work of regulating cell cycle and make sure that cell cycle moves forward in a healthy way. So they are the checkpoint protein complexes, but P21 is going to bind to this complex and inactivate it. So the cell cycle slows down. So overall, the TGF beta family ligands act on many, many, many cells locally because the ligands are not that soluble. These receiving cells have TGF beta receptors with activated TGF beta receptors and dimerization. SMAT gets activated. And then the activated SMAT goes to the nucleus and turns on many genes, including P21. P21 binds to the cycling CDK complex and halts the cell cycle. And in many cancers, you find a lot of mutations in SMAT and TGF beta receptor. These mutations inactivate SMAT, leading to not many SMAT activation of expressions. So not many P21 gets activated and the cell cycle is not going to be stopped as often, leading to many cell cycles moving forward with less check. Also, mutations in TGF beta inactivates it without TGF beta receptor dimerization. SMAT can be activated and you can't turn on P21 when you have to, leading to, again, cell cycle going forward without being contested.